السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ماڈل اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم ٹو مائی آنلائن کلاس آئی ہوپ فور یو آر ویئر ہیپی ان دس ایپیڈیمی کرونا وائرس سچویشن اینڈ آئی ایم آلسو تھینک بائی ٹیکس آف اور مائی کیا ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈے آئی ایم ٹیچ یو انگلش سیکنڈ بٹ آف کلاس ٹین اینڈ ٹوڈیز ٹاپکس از رائٹ فرام وارڈ ان دا پریویس کلاسز آئی ہیو ڈسکسڈ ٹین رولس آن رائٹ فرام وارڈس اینڈ ٹوڈے I will discuss the remaining rules of right from birth. Okay, let's go to learn, learn some specific rules of right from birth. Firstly, we can the point tense. Tense is very vital and significant point. And if you want to be expert in English, and if you want to be expert in right from birth, tense, you have to know the structure of tense and you have to know all kinds of rules of tense okay come to the point in the sentence if we find The adverb in the sentence you will find the adverb such as such as always regularly. Usually, normally, occasionally, always, regularly, usually, normally, occasionally, generally. Sometimes at times often very often and so on. We are students notice here, if we find in the sentence some specific adverbs, that is always, regularly, usually, normally, occasionally, generally, sometimes, at times, at times, often, very often, and so on. Then our main part will be in present significance. You can take the structure of present significance. Present significance. Subject plus bar one. That means verbal base form plus object. Dear students, I want to make some important topics. I am to make clear that if our subject is third person singular number, then we have to add is by is with the main verb, and we have to know where we use is and yes. I have to make clear this topics that if we find if we find find O double S is A C A X 
O double S, S A C S and X. Then we have to use T S with the main verb. If our subject is third person singular number, then we have to use S or S yes with the main verb. And I want to make clear this topic that if we find O double S S A C S and X. O double S S A C S and X with the last part of a verb. Then we have to use T S. Such as go, go, goes, this, this is, go, goes, this, this is, fix, if I fix, fixes. Go goes takes pieces takes pieces branch B R U S S branch can be used both noun and verb so I can use if our subject is third person singular number then we have to use S or S yes. the branch S S B R U S S S branches. Go goes, taste pieces, takes pieces, publish, P U B L I S S, publishes, publishes. Dear students, notice here all these words we find go, 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 we find go. In the last part of this verb. So, if our subject is third person singular number, then we have to use T S. T S S C S. Then we have to use E S. Fix fix S. Brush brushes. Publish publishes. Okay. Dear students, I strongly believe that this topic is totally clear to you. Now I can give you some. Specific examples of this of this mode. Okay. For example, examples. Mother. This may. The Holy Quran. This is the Holy Quran. Regular. The other students notice here in this sentence to find mother is third person singular number and we have used in this sentence regularly and regularly has been used as an adverb. So. I can use pieces. Mother pieces. Me the Holy Quran. 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 Next topics. Next, I can give you another example. He read newspaper. Newspaper. Game. Yeah. He is used as a person singular number, and we have to use. Is with the main verb read because because uh, I have made it clear that you will find with the verb in the last part of the verb C A S O S H X then we have to use S but in this verb we did we don't find substantial sign so we can use S with read 
that means he leads newspaper daily dear students i think this rule is totally clear to you okay next i can teach you another rules rule number 2 If we find find in the sentence in the sentence if we find in the sentence d by d. Day by day, gradually, gradually, day by day, gradually, at present, nowadays, day by day, gradually, at present, nowadays, at this moment. At this moment, then you would find in the sentence day by day, gradually, at present, nowadays, at this moment, then we have to write down the verb, main verb, in present continuous sense. It is easy. Then we have to, we have to. Write the same the main part. Write the main part in present continuous tense. In present continuous tense. Continuous tense. The structures of present continuous tense, such as subject. Plus M is R plus verb one that means verb base form plus ing plus object. You can take an example of this rule. For example, Computer is computer computer is becoming popular J by J by J to the young generations. To the young generations, dear students, follow me. Here we have used, we have find in the sentence day by day, and that is why I have used the main verb in present continuous tense. That is subject plus verb plus. Subject plus auxiliary verb plus verb plus ing and extension. I think another example is needed in this regard. I am reading a book. A book at this moment. At this moment, that will in this sentence we find at this moment. And for this reason, I have used subject plus and plus verb plus and. Dear students, I think this rule is totally clear to you. Okay, I can skip next rule. Rule number three. If we find 
find network address such as such as recently recently already you will find in the same you will find in the sentence in the sentence in the sentence by marks such as recently already meanwhile meanwhile just just now just just now lately and yet then our member will be in then our member will be in present perfect tense it is in main verb will be in present perfect tense perfect tense first we look at the structure of present perfect tense subject plus have has plus v3 plus object v3 that is the part first particular of main verb object we can take an example recently i have visited and visited shahpur smash mosque must shall go must must dear students in this sentence find recently it has been used as a verb for this reason i have written the main verb in past in present perfect tense that means subject plus have plus verb plus participle okay next rule rule number 4 in the sentence he will find find he will find yes sir the the previous day previous day he started the previous day last night week month and year last plus last night last week last month last year and ago long ago long ago and long since long since then we have to write down the main verb in past tense then we have to write down the main verb main verb then we have to write up the main verb in past tense in 
Never be patience. Patience. That is never to be past indicators such as you can take the structure subject class class B2. B2 that means barred past tense class object such as I got your letter. I got your letter. You start. I got your letter. You start. In this sentence, we find you start. And it you start indicates the past event. You start indicates the past event for this reason. I have. Used got in this sentence. That means our member has been written in past indicative tense. That means past tense. Okay, next example. He received, he did the work for last night. Here, yeah, last night indicates past tense, past, past event for this figures. I have written did in a state of do. Okay, my dear students, I strongly believe that, I strongly believe that the four rules is totally clear to you. I have written past past adverbs and their structure and today I have given you some examples and by this way I have tried my level just to make clear these topics and okay that's all for the time being and our next our next session will be held in the next class. Okay thank you very much thank you all